Ladies and gentlemen, it is 1000 pop server time. Oh no. <laughs> and this is not going to be easy because I have one blueprint on this server and it is revolver. So <laughs> I'm going to have quite the challenge this swipe. 1000 players versus me. This was a story I embarked on with one mission, building a base that could take me through multiple days all as a solo. But this would be no easy feat. I knew there would be a lot of setbacks, but that would just make the wins feel even more rewarding. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this first episode on my adventure on a 1000 popped fresh wipe server. I was watching William's new series, and obviously he was playing on a 1000 pop server. I thought to myself, it can't be that hard, right? <laughs> Confidence high, I travelled as far away as I could from the spawn beach. If I wanted to survive this wipe, I would either need to live in the clouds or camouflaged in the trees. Not knowing which one I would pick just yet, I made the journey west whilst keeping a lookout for a potential build location. I'm scouting out a spot right now and I really like the look of it. And it's just here. We've got a gas station, power plant not too far away, it seems like there's some sort of forest here. There's a road. I'm liking that area. I'm so far ahead of everyone else. There is so much cloth. <laughs> I love it. I'm thinking I could go up dome, but I really don't want to waste any time right now. I want to just get to the area where I think it's going to be a nice spot. And then that way, because I'm going to be there first, I can scout it out and properly find like the perfect location. Because the base I'm going to be building is huge. It can easily house a trio. Even a quad, I would say. So, uh, yeah. Being near the snow is going to be pretty good as well for the nodes, because I'm going to need a lot. Definitely. Ooh, am I the first one here? I think I am. Cool. I'm gonna leave. Oh, horse! The journey so far had been pretty simple, and I was coming up to the spot I had marked out earlier. All I would need to do now was farm up for my starter, and find the perfect area to build my home. I'm slowly approaching where I want to build. This looks perfect. Oh, this looks perfect. Let's go. I'm thinking... Just around here. We're definitely going to have enough space here as well. Base secure. Revolvers are oxums already. As you can see, there is the oxums. And there is my base. Pretty close. But I want to farm up for an airlock, and I want to do that kind of fast. The beginning of the build had commenced, claiming my area with a tool cupboard. Still ahead of the curve, I would need to use this time wisely, gathering scrap and other resources before the area became a war zone, and this wouldn't take long. So 
Someone's calling in an airdrop already. Wow. There we go. Feeling kind of safe. Next step is of course the furnace because I can't be rocking two, uh, two wooden double doors on my base. They're definitely going to get raided. So I need to hunt an animal. And you know what, I'm going to farm barrels while I hunt for this animal. Need to be careful though because I did hear revolver shots around here earlier. I see a wolf. No, don't run. No. <laughs> oh, which one is it? Oh god. Oh my god, there's so many wolves. No. Get away from me. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Ah! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, okay. I need to continue to progress fast because people are going to start coming over here very, very soon. In fact, I'm actually just going to heal up with some bandages so I can just get straight back out there. Have some chocolate horse. And I might kill this scientist. Maybe get a med syringe. Oh. Someone else is doing it. Oh. Oh, there's two. 20 minutes into wipe and it seemed the groups were slowly entering into the neighbourhood. Luckily I had gathered plenty of cloth on my run down, so crafting another bow wasn't an issue. I would just need to be more cautious. Oh there's a bow, I need it. I need it. Oh god, it's coming a bit too close. Yes, dude, get in. Huge. Oh, let's go. This is a massive step. Yes. Means I can get a furnace going. Yeah, I'm going to head to Oxum's. Let's, uh, let's give it a go. Someone on top. With a bow. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to get a tool and hit some barrels. Metal pickaxe. I might actually need to depot that. That's huge. Oh. Very nice. Oh, 69 scrap. Didn't even see that. That's really good. That's enough for a tier one. Just need to wait for this metal to smelt. Which I'm actually going to cook a little bit of, of sulfur too. Just because I have revolver BP. If I can get some quick stone, it's going to be perfect. Let's go. Let's go up to the mountains. 
Oh, we have enough for a tier one. That's pretty good. And even, I'm going to get another furnace down, I think. There we go. Much nicer. The first night cycle on the server had come. We had a pretty flawless beginning to this wipe, but things were only just getting started. That's nice. I like that. Crafting myself a crossbow, I headed out to see what the second day had in store for me. Oh, that's, about, that's nice. Yikes. <laughs> I'm good. What we can now get, which I'm very happy about, is a metal door. Maybe I craft myself a nail gun too. Ooh, I have two barricade covers. I'm going to take one out. I'm going to take a little bit of components just for some metal and some cloth. I'm... Oh. I'm sorry this is going to happen, dude. Yeah, head to Oxum's. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go, though, but yeah, let's do it. Three guys. destroyed. With this being one of the first times I've stepped foot in such a highly populated server, I had a lot to learn, and one of those things was picking the right times to recycle. Groups would be holding most monuments down for respawns, so I would need to be clever when farming my scrap. Recycling these two semi-bodies would actually be huge. Re-equipping myself with a crossbow, I headed for the road next to my base, figuring it would be much safer, peacefully farming scrap. Or so I thought. Well, no horse means I'm not going to be as mobile, but... What can you do, eh? I just died stupidly. <laughs> That's why right now I haven't actually crafted myself a nail gun, because I just play too aggressive when I have a nail gun. If I had just a crossbow in that situation, I wouldn't have pushed. Not at all. Nice. Little dual world action. I was that missed. Holy smokes. Oh, hoo, hoo, that was too close for my liking. We should probably sort out the large box situation before we start overflowing with loot. Oh god. Oh 
Okay, I'm gonna risk taking out my metal pickaxe. It's quite cheap to get on the tech tree, so if I do lose it, it's not the end of the world, but preferably, I obviously don't want to die. <laughs> I think I'll be okay though. I've somehow found a really nice and peaceful spot on such a chaotic server. It was peaceful for the time being, so within this window I used my time as best as I could continuing to farm resources, but whilst doing so I found myself in a little bit of trouble. I've built in the perfect- oh I see a farmer. I'm seeing a farmer guys. Oh no. I was about to say I built in the perfect area, there's nodes, it's kind of peaceful, there's a quick recycler near me. But there is a farmer up here. I'm going to need to try and take care of. Oh, that missed. No. Don't know if he has any ochre or something. Oh my god, I fumbled. Oh, I fumbled like it. No. <laughs> oh, he has teammates, look. There's three of them. Oh no, they're in a fight. No way. Oh my gosh. If I want to be successful in this wipe, I need to not fumble that. Come on, man. I'm so much better than that. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> I was disappointed in myself. Usually those are the simplest of kills, but being so new to such an intense server, the pressure must have got to me. Crafting myself a revolver would hopefully negate those mistakes from happening again, and it just so happened that the same duo I had tried to fight came back to the area. Ooh. Uh oh. How is he not dead? Now he is. This was the guy that was farming. Yeah, that was him. Oh, that's his teammate. Come on, that's what I needed to do. Winning fights like this was crucial, giving me great early game kits for whenever I needed them. So these couple of kills was a massive confidence booster. Get in, come on. <laughs> that was what was needed right there. Let's go, come on. I guess that's why I craft a revolver as soon as I can. I kind of should have done that a long time ago, but yeah. Oh, let's go, dude. Nice, well done. Okay, now am I getting camped? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I'm good, I think. Now I'm going to go and get some nodes. Well, hopefully. Because I need to expand my base now. I want to expand my base now. Oh, and there's a new base just there, actually. Two by one. Okay. Okie dokie. Now it is time for a little expansion. So in this expansion we have a lovely little bit of roof access, which could come in handy, and also an airlock. You just need to switch the uh, 
double door to swing out this way. So that acts as a nice little airlock. And honestly, while I'm online, just for maneuverability, I'm going to remove this door. Nice open space. And before the night sets in, I'm going to go hit some barrels, because of course, we don't have many blueprints on this. Well, in fact, the only blueprint I do have is this one right here with a pistol ammo. So if the wipe wasn't hard enough already, having virtually no blueprints made it 10 times harder. This would mean I would need a lot of scrap for BPs in order to have the best time possible. It also meant I would need to make a play for a tier 2 gun, which I would have my fair share of attempts. This wipe was about perseverance and how I thrive in these circumstances. Med syringe? Yes. Very nice. Honestly, I think I'm just going to go home with this. It's a very good find. I can't see him. I really can't see him. I don't want to have to use the med though. That means we lost the med syringe, but luckily it's not too expensive to tech tree. Two teammates up there. Wait, this is a flipping. There's an airdrop here. I need to go. I didn't know there was an airdrop right there. I saw like two or three people up on the hill. Waiting for that to be called in. We had weapon flashlight and he had a bed. Oh nice. I didn't notice that. That's really good. Oh that bed is actually kind of awesome. I'm going to place that down. I'll be fine. Nice we have a bed. That's so good. You know I'm very glad I have this revolver BP because if I didn't have it I think I would be lost. I would not win any of these fights. Didn't really want to do that, but it is what it is, man. And yes, I'm going to be the guy that I hate. The roof camp go out naked guy. <laughs> Just because I heard revolvers. And yeah, that kind of worries me. It'll be okay. <laughs> Sars at gas station. Dun dun da. The base I had opted for this wipe was a design by Indominus, which will be linked down below. It would cost 80,000 materials, whether that be 80 stone nodes or half and half with metal. It didn't really matter. Bottom line was, I needed a lot of farm. And then I remembered I was playing a server with 999 other people. This was going to be a rough adventure. But this is getting active now. Oh my gosh. Oh, hello. Hello, friend. Hopefully you're solo. I'm convinced I'm better with hunting bow as well. When it comes to this whole crossbow primitive stuff. Anyway, I need farm. I need farm. Game. <laughs> Let me farm. <laughs> oh, actually, we have a metal hatchet. Nice. I didn't know that. This is the problem now. The furnaces are out of metal. I need to get some metal. Game. Please. Can I have some metal? Please. It would be much appreciated.
That's not his teammate. I'm going to wait for them to fight. There it is. Oh no. It was a nice ride, boys. Oh yep, yeah, it was it was wonderful. I loved it. <laughs> this is insane. Hopefully my metal ore is safe. Come on. Yes, they never looted him. Game. Let me get the revolver. I'm gonna have to harvest the body. Go. Get out of here. Where's my metal? Yes! <laughs> Finally. Oh, nope. I'm good. Just in time, I escaped. At least I can get the furnaces running again, even if it's with a little bit, it is something, okay? This area is starting to heat up quickly. <laughs> Every time I left base, I seem to get myself into an altercation. From now on, I would try and stay low-key, as this would be the key to progressing smoothly. I think I want to expand a little bit, or just add some honeycomb, or just, you know, some very basic, uh necessities. I think I have enough materials for it, just. Okay, so we've expanded that. And I'm going to leave it like that for now because I actually want to sheet metal that wall. When I seal that in, I won't be able to reach it anymore, so I definitely want to do that. Not looking too good on frags, but if I get a raid defense, then you never know. It might save me. And just like that, we are sort of honeycombed. I'd need to do these two squares, but that will come at a later stage. I've just realized where all of my frags are going. They're going into crafting metal pickaxes. I think I've... This could be like the fourth one I've crafted. <laughs> That's 500 frags. Oh dear. We've got our two little personal trees in here. It's lovely. <laughs> is this about to be our first successful farming trip? It is. Get in. <laughs> now I need to get wood and to be honest, I might chop down these two trees. Oh. <laughs> Let's continue with the wood gathering as it turns sort of night time. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to upgrade this wall, um, and I guess I'll do like this also. I can do this triangle as well, and I'm going to place a square foundation off each of these, so it covers the core foundation. It just saves a bit of metal on my end. So as you can see, I can see the stone, but simply just add that, and it's gone. Do that on all of the sides, this side as well. This base is super cool. It's got a lot of like fake hidden stuff. It's got a hidden bunker on the roof, which obviously you guys will see, but not until quite a while because I'm going to have to complete the build, obviously. It's got a lot of fake entrances. Um, it's just a very like tricky base. I really enjoy it. Of course, it's going to be linked below. I knew I needed something strong for this wipe, something affordable for a solo. Wow. Okay. I'm not sure if it's affordable for a solo. So we want a doorway and a wall. 
two half height walls. These have to be half height, same on this square too. They have to be half height because of the roof bunker. It's it's like a stability socket. I don't really know how to explain it. But yeah, there's that. Just enclose this fully. There we go, man. Awesome. So like I was saying, it's got a lot of tricks. And this is one of them here. Basically, how this works is... Say for example, someone's railing doors. If I have all the exact same doors here, obviously they're not going to know which ones to drop down. That's kind of the idea behind it. And yeah, just for now, so we are kind of enclosed. Let's uh, add these doors. And we worry about the fake entrances later on. Ooh. Oh shit, this isn't good. I was hoping that his teammate would come rushing out. That's why I went straight to the roof. Imagine I'd gone deep there. That would have been sick. Using most of my farm on my latest expansion, I once again headed out with a pickaxe. Pretty horsey as well. Quite slow, but you know. course there's another farmer on the hill nice oh i want to cry green card oh my furnaces have stopped that is not good man that is not good so we're on 110 scrap we need 390 for a tier 2, but again, I don't have any blueprints. So what I think I'll do is I'll focus about that, like, not last, but when I get a tier 2 gun. As soon as I get a tier 2 gun that I can research. Oh, it's a horse. Oh my god. Yeah, when I get a tier 2 gun I can research, then I'll decide to, uh, oh sorry, then I'll focus on getting a tier 2. Right now, literally no rush at all, I don't think. On the top of my to-do list was getting my hands on a tier 2 gun, and with the amount of players around me, my time would come at some point. Ooh. Okay. I might actually go to these SAR shots quickly. I don't know if they're on the roof though, that's the only issue. Yeah, it is. I don't think there was a gun there. I, oh, I, I, there was. There was a water pipe. That's cool. I might need to research that to make a play, maybe. Oh, there we go. There's the ore that we were looking for. Ice pick as well. Didn't even notice. Nice. Oh, and this had slugs. Oh, that might be worth a research. I'll think about that. That's nice. That's a, that was actually a really nice kill. That just confirms that that Chinese duo do live in that base. And that's just got me a salvaged axe, which is awesome. 
Maybe I shouldn't have killed him. I don't know. The duo that I had first fought on this server had moved in right next to me. Well, I figured they were a duo. I didn't know if they knew where I lived, but if they did, they may be back for revenge. A lot of cautious Kali was in play this wipe. You know what? That's, I actually think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to research this uh, pipey and I'm going to use it to go out and try and make plays. I mean, sure, maybe there's more important things I should be uh, spending my scrap on, but I think this is quite a good thing to be spending it on right now. Oh yeah. Heading out with a water pipe in hand, I ran around hunting for a tier 2 play. Oh, we got a rug. Nice. That means we can finally heal up with comfort instead of having to use bandages. <laughs> Yay. This base feels too cold now. I need to change it up again. Hell yeah. Finally, we can get 100% comfort. Yes. Very happy. And there's a P2. Ooh. Maybe he comes to loot this box. No way. <laughs> You're joking. I only got him down to 21 HP. Maybe water pipe isn't the play. I headed back ASAP, but this time with a crossbow and revolver. Where the normal has my go, I don't know. No way, some random naked here. Huh? Are you kidding me? Oh, they were all together anyway. Never mind. It was three. Oh. <laughs> I can't catch a break. No, no. Oh, and hello, sir. <laughs> I missed, no way. Is there any point in looting this? I don't know because he's going to be part of that trio, isn't he? Yep, that was just there. Okay, nice. Almost whiffed that out. Oh, yes, more wood. Let's go. I'm really happy with the area I live at because it's sort of like I can pick and choose my fights and I feel like that's a very rare thing to be able to do on such a high pop server. I think I've nailed the base location this wipe. I put the playmaking to one side for now. I knew I'd have plenty of opportunities in the future. I again picked up a tool and headed to the mountains to gather some resources. Nice, let's go. Let's go. Oh, that, that rug glows, that's nice. Can't place that, really. We've died a lot, yes, but I am 
more than happy with how much we've progressed. We've progressed so, so much. Much more than I honestly could have imagined. I thought I was going to be like hunting bow Eoka for a good couple hours, but nah, this has been pretty smooth, pretty swift. Not too many major setbacks, which is good. Add a simple airlock to this. Again, this is going to be like a, a fake doorway. So we're going to want to have no see-through skin. So there we go. We'll add a wall frame in here as well, I guess. Okay, let's do that on every side and we'll add a fake door. And let me just make these doors glow real quick. Just so... I think this is a glowing skin. Just so I can navigate outside a little bit easier. To the left of each door, you want to add it. Just like so. So again, down to the left. And then I don't know why I crafted another door because I've already done it for the entrance. Yeah, as you can tell from an outsider who's never seen my base before, you will not have a clue which door to go through. Same thing with the roof. If you go through, these will all be metal as well. If you go through the roof, again, you're met with the same problem, right? It's a really cool little base. Lots of little tricks. And then we just honeycomb that simply underneath every door. And I know that these walls aren't honeycombed yet, and there's a reason for that. I can't leave it too late because it is actually the core walls. So I might have to HQM them if I can. I don't think I can though, no. Basically, outside of these walls are going to be bedrooms. So this one, this one, and this one. And they're going to have peaks out into the compound, so... Again, you'll, you'll see exactly what I mean. Um, but that is going to come at a much later date, I think. And you know what? We'll place the two doors up top as well. I mean, yeah, you guys have probably got the gist of it by now, right? I get flame raided through one of these doors. I mean, I should probably upgrade them, and I can actually do one, so I may as well. So yeah, say so I just get raided out of one of these top doors. It's like, okay, which one do I raid? They raid this one, they waste boom. I mean, if they hit this one straight away, then, you know, fair enough. They deserve it. I didn't hold much faith in the water pipe when it came to making a play, especially after my last attempt. However, I wanted to have a bit of fun by running around with it. And of course, the potential to kill a geared player was still there. Sorry, my man. Oh. <laughs> he just jumped out of his skin, I'm telling you now. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> that would have been sick. Uh oh. <laughs> that box is like my bait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll quickly go out one more time. Oh. No, <laughs> that sucks. A revy in a dream. Let's go. No! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. 
My time will come for a tier 2 weapon. I know it will. I just need to be... I need to be patient. It's coming. I know it is. <laughs> I think I've got close like two or three times now. It's definitely coming. This felt like Mission Impossible, but like I said in the beginning of the video, these plays would ultimately feel much more rewarding. You know what I'm thinking? I think it's time to get a tier 2. I was going to hold off until I got a tier uh, 2 gun, but I mean there's no harm in just having one in base ready, right? So I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to go farm some scrap. Someone on top of Oxums, I don't know what they have though. They look naked. I'm assuming he's going to that crate, right? What does he have? Yeah, he's naked. Oh shit. Oh! Give me a gun. Oh! No way! Um... It is now turned into mission escape. Evacuate the premises. Go. Oh! After attempt and attempt again, the game blessed me with an airdrop. Only problem is, how was I going to call this in? My first thought was a compound, but that comes at around stage 6 of the base. Right now, we were probably at stage 3, so we had a long way to go yet. In the meantime, I oh. gathered some more resources and kept an eye out for any potential chances of gaining some better weapons. I'm gonna let them pass. Oh, nice. Nice. There we go. There's a little tip for you guys. <laughs> Just crawl straight up. Instead of having to do this like weird jump crouch thing. Oh man. No syringe. Okay, he just spawned there. What the hell? Oh god. Nope. Oh. Oh, 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 what a little gremlin. I don't really need to recycle. What a little gremlin. I've just seen a guy with a launcher on his back. No? I swear. Coming this way. So he has a launcher. No, it's a mace. It's a mace. Okay. Oh, I was going to recycle at night time. It's turning night time, but now I've just figured out that someone's camping recycler with a water pipe. Don't really know how I'm feeling about that now. <laughs> Maybe I go over and suss it out when it actually turns night time. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got DB. He's got a DB. No! Your child! Oh man! It's ours, it's the little gremlins. Yeah, they're both back already. Oh, and I missed. Oh no. <laughs> recycling was still a very difficult task for me. So instead of recycling my components for scrap, I had to just keep farming barrels and boxes. Waiting for that opportunity to use a recycler. Full barrel. Hmm. 
I wish I did a shelf in this room. Oh, I kind of regret that. Later this will be a loot room, I think, anyways. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Oh! Wait, this could be huge. Oh, you're joking. I can't get a breakthrough. I can't get a breakthrough. It was getting late. The pop had dropped to around 600, which yes, was still ridiculous, but I figured most of the groups had farmed for their tier 3s, leaving some certain monuments with little competition. Power plant was one of those, and it was relatively close to my base, so heading in that direction, I hoped to recycle some of my components. But of course being a tier 3 monument, the surrounding area would not be peaceful. How is he dead? No way. What? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh my gosh, that wolf headdress, man. I'm not sure how he's still alive. I'm really confused. Oh! Oh my god. I think that wolf headdress guy was loaded. I, I, I don't know how I didn't kill him. I, I'm so upset. Ooh, P2. We saw someone. Was this him? Is this P2 guy? Oh, I don't think it is. Oh, it is. Oh my god, huge. Oh my god, huge. Finally, the play was made. Now the ball could really start rolling. I of course researched it right away. Smelting metal more or less non-stop since the start of the wipe, I upgraded some important parts of the base. That's good I think. Using the cover of night to farm a bunch of wood, I then added the three external bedrooms to my base before heading out with the mission of getting my tier 2 workbench. So we repeat that on the other two sides. This is basically a bedroom. Oh yeah. Obviously ladder hatch here as well. And then you window this here, but I don't know if I want to do that just yet. Probably not. I kind of want garage door BP before I do that because I get roof access from these uh, these corners here. So if I can get garage door before I get off tonight, it is... Well, it's only midnight to be fair. I could do that.
So as you can see, bedroom here, these are some cool peaks into the compound. And then this just basically acts as honeycomb to the bedroom, which is nice. And yes, I know some of my cool walls are still exposed, these two. I think I'll armor them before I get off. In fact, no, I might have enough for ladder hatch. We'll see. We'll see where we're at. Do I have the materials? Mm, kinda. Just to enclose it off. I think that's quite an important thing, actually. It means I can't get camped from these... Okay, I'm tricking myself with my own base. <laughs> and to kind of stop people getting in from this way, place this there. That needs to be there in the future anyways. Cool. That guy has an arrow in his head. Okay, it's fine. Let's go. It's Ash, let's go. Big karma for camping gas station, boys. Let's go. There's another, there's another. They've got a third. I rushed straight to the body because they've been two this whole time. No way. Sucks to be me, I guess. Oh, <laughs> I should stick to the farming. That is so upsetting. Oh, I had been distracted by the task at hand. I quickly farmed a few barrels and then I could afford a tier two, placing it down. I then began my next mission, getting a garage door blueprint, so I made my way towards power plant yet again. If I got a garage door, I would feel relatively safe when I logged off for the night. I find it insane that a tier 3 monument is safer than a tier 0 oxums, like... I mean, I'm not complaining, I'm getting myself in a little recycle, but... It's crazy to me, it shouldn't be that way. Oh. Ooh, nice. Oh my god, dude. He has a teammate, he's not F1 killing. Okay, he did now. Oh. Oh, just what I needed. Yes. I just remembered. I have a tier 2 and I have P2 lunt. <laughs> I completely forgot. With this P2 in my hands, things were only going to turn up a notch. This road has actually been a blessing, to be fair. I didn't have this road. I would be stumped. I, I really would struggle to be getting scrap. I'm very blessed. Oh my god, that scared me. I thought he had like a DB. I thought there was some guy sprinting at me. Uh, what happens here? Do I loot? I think I do. I don't see anyone. Oh, I know who that is. That's part of the trio. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, he was outside my base. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, I didn't, actually, I didn't move. I didn't move. 
Maybe he doesn't know. Oh no. It was getting really late, almost 3am at this point, and I wanted garage door more than ever. This base didn't have a bunker, but what it did have was multiple fake entrances. So with that, combined with garage doors everywhere in my base, I hoped my home would survive the first day on the server. Again, just to throw off the raiders. And we'll do this as well, why not? There was just one problem. I didn't have enough scrap for a garage door, so I knew my next objective. Give me a tool, please. Oh. Damn. I heard has my boots. Recycled nowhere near as much as I wanted to, but oh. when I when I'm in the trees, I feel safe. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh shit! This is bad. This is really bad. Yep. Yeah, please just run. Please just run. I don't know what he has. It looked like he had a Tommy. We're about to find out, yep. Yep. Oh, this is really bad. He's dead. I had the heart racing. Nice shots, Callie. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Let's go. Let's go. What I say, P2 is a playmaking machine. It is so good. Hundred and fifty scrap left. But well, what we did get is the embrasures. Oh, yeah. Now we just need 150 scrap. Easy peasy. Well, actually, no. I don't want to jinx it. Not easy peasy. Scary, scary. Okay, 126. Just need a little bit more. Did I just see someone? I didn't. Okay. Yeah, we just need 24 more scrap. I'm going to depot this lot though first. And there's our scrap.
with these garage doors, we are actually enclosed. Okay, I know I don't have much HQM, but I think it's very worth me armoring this wool here. Yeah. I think that's very worth. Before logging off, I wanted to do a quick farming run, so I had ore smelting overnight. I knew when I woke up, the server would be back to full pop and as chaotic as ever, so a farming trip could have proved to be difficult. After a 12 hour session, I was happy to call my wipe day there, securing the garage door blueprint and some tier 2 weapons ready for the second day on the server, if I survive the night. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss part 2. The base was far from complete and a bunch of intense PvP awaited me. This story had only just begun.